Jet 24 Action News is your local election headquarters. Polling between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris continues to tighten up in key battleground states. That includes Pennsylvania. Recently, Erie was named one of the top seven swing counties in the entire country, playing a key role in winning the state and the election. Matt Mathias joins us now in the control room with much more on this story, including a closer look at the numbers and what they mean. Matt? That's right, Sean. Good evening. Erie is in the spotlight once again as its importance in elections isn't just getting local, state, or even national coverage, but international attention. Pennsylvania has the most electoral votes of any of the states considered swing states in the upcoming election. That means candidates are bound to campaign for those votes in a big way. In 2020, Erie saw visits from both Donald Trump and Joe Biden, and in 2016, only Donald Trump. Erie County has voted with the winner in 25 of the last 28 statewide elections, making it one of the swingiest swing counties in the United States. And people outside of the United States are noticing. A political science professor from Penn State Barron says two journalists, one from France's equivalent of the Associated Press and another from the top business magazine in Brazil, have visited or will visit Erie this summer to report on the county's power in the presidential election. He was asking where to go when he was in Erie, and I said, you've got to go to Mill Creek. You've got to talk to people in Mill Creek. Because Mill Creek is the swing township in the swing county in the swing state. Mill Creek, the second largest community in Erie County, uh, went for Donald Trump in 2016 and Joe Biden in 2020. And my guess is it's going to be the voters of Mill Creek that make the difference in November. Spiel says Erie County can be broken into thirds. The urban city voters who vote Democrat and the rural voters who vote Republican. And finally, the suburban communities, which have the potential to be a toss-up. The key to winning Erie County in the fall is, going to, is for Trump to see, can he win back some of those suburban, more moderate voters from Mill Creek? Or will Kamala Harris be able to win enough of them to win the county and the state again. To say that Erie County is going to play a critical role in the upcoming election is to minimize its role. Erie County, I think, is one of the epicenters of American politics. And Spiel says it will be interesting to see who comes to Erie to campaign. Sean. Absolutely interesting to see who comes to Erie to cover the campaign, too. Matt Mathias in the control room. Thanks, Matt. For all your election news leading right up to the general election and beyond, you can always go online. Your local election headquarters is your Erie.com.